This is the Chevrolet Corvette C6R. It's a GD2 configuration and has a 6 liter V8, providing 470 brake horsepower. This car has iron brakes and feels pretty light in the corners. The aerodynamics of this car provide a lot of grip and keeps you in contact with the road. It wouldn't surprise me if this car ends up really high on the top gear leaderboard. So let's take this car out for a spin on the top gear test track. Here we are and we're off. So will this car be able to beat the Nissan 370Z who is currently leading the top gear leaderboard? Well it definitely had a very good start as we join the stick now on board. Beautiful shot here approaching turn 2 which is Wilson. Well look at the flames coming out of the car as the stick turns in through the first corner and whoa look at that bit of a drift stick definitely pushing hard chicago up next let's see how the car does here it handles pretty well through the corner bit of oversteer once again bit of a drift once again look at the stick sliding and playing with it after this very long straight approaching the hammerhead now how will it cope with the hammerhead once again the corvette spits out fire Taking a long speed into the hammerhead, a little bit wide there, but seems pretty nice and tidy, although the understeer picked up a little bit there. Now the traction zone then, Corvette is very, very powerful. Now approaching follow through and a bend lead, two very quick corners, let's see how the follow through goes. You could hear a slight lift there, stick had to lift off there as we go to Bentley now, as the stick had a little bit of an accident before, that's why you see the tires there all over the shelf, but that looked pretty nice again. I turned the final couple of corners, which are always difficult. Up to Gambit now, final corner, bit wide there as you can see there, and over the bump and across the line. So, here we go. The Chevrolet Corvette C6R has done a lap time of 112.101, and it means that it tops the Nissan 370Z by about 3 seconds, which is quite a lot. But this car, I must say, it felt really good to drive. Um, it was pretty light in the corners, even though you wouldn't really expect it. Um, but as I said, it was really, really good in the corners. It handled very well. The rear end was sometimes a little bit too light. As you've seen in the video, I was drifting quite a bit in a couple of corners. But uh, three seconds, that's a lot. Next time, we will have another car, obviously. And we'll see how that one plays out. And... Um, you know how it performs on the track so i want to thank you guys for watching if you have enjoyed the video i would really appreciate a like and that's it for me see you next time with another top gear video goodbye